gotta be critters out there. Booners, just everywhere. Finally made it to North Dakota. We've been on the road for ever 752,000 hours from Georgia and West Virginia, but we made it. Been driving for two days. We're here. We're going somewhere in North Dakota. We were just saying we don't know anything about North Dakota. I should know more. I feel like a bad citizen. <laughs> but we're here. We're gonna get uh, camp set up tonight. Tomorrow, do some scouting. It's the day before the North Dakota opener. And then Friday, September the 4th, is opening day. And I'm guessing we'll get what, Jared? Two booners down? Easy. Easy? Yeah, maybe one, but most likely two booners down on opening day. So, boom! Here we go. Failing. So, the bad thing is, we're about to roll into camp here in about an hour and a half, but. Um, we got some bad weather moving in, and it's it's going to be severe, well severe thunderstorm warning and uh, wind tonight, like 50 mile an hour gusts. So we may end up sleeping in the truck. Um, good news is the rest of the trip, the weather looks incredible. We got a good cold front coming. It's going to be clear and sunny pretty much every day. So, so what do you think? We're going to be stuck in the truck tonight? Yeah, I think we're sleep. Well, I was sleeping in the truck anyway. True. But I think you might, uh, you, we might be cuddling. Me and old Ginger Ninja might be getting pretty, <laughs> pretty up close and personal tonight. <laughs> North Dakota does not want us here, apparently, <laughs> and it's storming. Dude, we got the last room. <laughs> she was like, you better hurry. There's only one room left. She said, I hope two beds is okay. And I was like, yes! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow. I don't know what a day it is officially. What, do we count the travel days? Day one, day two, day three? I think this is this is the third travel day for us. We're on the way back, back to the camps right or to the campsite for the first time actually. We stepped, we stayed in a hotel last night, Motel 66, because the storm was raging last night. It was bad. And uh, <clears throat> we didn't really want to set up our tents in the rain, so we paid 60 bucks and stayed in a nice warm bed. Headed north to North Dakota, and well, further north in North Dakota, and yeah, we'll be hunting tomorrow night. We're gonna get some scouting in today, and the season opens tomorrow at noon, so keep trucking. Good morning. What's up? This is a long What's way from guys? Georgia. Look at him, he's still What's looking up, like he's from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jerry? Hey, Sam. That's good to see you. Good to see you again. What's up, Shane? Sam, what's up? Hey. Here's your uh, motivation. <clears throat> Carl? <laughs> what are you doing under there? I'm cooking bacon. <laughs> I got coffee and bacon. We got some, I said Shane for some donuts. Let him We're living it up, man. The other way. So, nice. Yeah. yeah. Got to set up all this again. So Don't worry about storm the came through last night, had to tear it all down, and so it didn't get carried off. But yeah, man. It only took us three days to get here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is a surprise we've been working on for a really long time. That right there is the lightest climbing stick on the planet. And it's not even close, to be honest. It's like 40% lighter than anything else out there. They stack together without anything extra. Pretty sweet. Stove up in a truck with the Ginger Ninja for three days. So I'm probably going to be a little rusty. Fire in the hole. Don't walk in front of us, Carl. Get all the hole by default.
shot go? My shot? Yeah. Was literally oh, I'm ready. Why you? He got that new truck pretty dirty. Yes, he did. He definitely found some mud. I'm gonna do a little spill here for the yep. camera, and then we'll get busy. All right, so we're here first afternoon, first hunt in Nebraska. Nebraska. I still got Nebraska on my. <laughs> this is uh, Carl. Say your last name. Kasu. Kasu. And uh, he's with Tethered, and we got a whole group of guys. Uh, from tethered up here in camp came up here in July with Garrett Prawl DIY sportsman and, and actually got boots on the ground and I fell in love with it and I think I have a good opportunity to, to kill a deer in here there's so much good sign that we're gonna uh, tag team it today Carl's gonna get it one spot that I found that looks good I'm going about another 150 yards he's gonna be up in a tree in a saddle right yeah I'm gonna be on the ground with my recurve we're both using recurves and uh, we got Dylan running camera there for for Carl and so it's real early it's like 1230 it's season open here at noon and so we're just gonna get an early start we think we might be able to see a lot of daytime activity so I'll quit yapping we'll go ahead in the woods and get set up and just uh, hopefully we see some some deer I wonder if it's coming over I think it's weird. Yeah, well. it's almost dead calm in here I mean they're not showing us which so just gonna take our chances. I'm kind of committed to this spot. Yeah. I'm hoping once you get up in the tree, that should help.
pulling through it. Clicker went off, I let it eat, felt great. And halfway down range, I'm like, oh no, it's going way back. Well, that's a great buck. Yeah, he's tall, he's nice. Screw the clicker? Yep. And then bam. Oh my. It went way back in there. Oh my. You might have hit that femoral artery. Well, if you did, though. Okay, it's in front of the hip, isn't it? Yeah. I can't, well, I can't really it, tell. It comes down right at the at the top in front of the hip, and then it cuts way back and goes along the bone. I think. You're in him good, a good ways. Yeah, it's in there. You're in the side. other leg, too. Oh, it came oh, out the other out. side. It's yeah. It out. Good work, Dylan, man. Great footage. Yeah, no joke. I hit him in the leg, didn't I? It's, oh, it's sucking through. Yep, he pulled it through. Crap. Is he in that? Is that in the you can leg? See the broad, all the way through. You can see the broad head on the other yeah. side. Yep. Is that in his leg? That's in his leg. It smacked the tree. That's what. Okay. Yep. Or no, yep. it hit the brush on the other side. It pulled it through. Pulled yep. it through. And yep. then f this brush Probably. flung it way back. Yeah, yep. see it right there. Yeah, we got blood all the way there. It's not a lot, but there's blood. Still, still say we got to give it to tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Well, it is 8.18 the next morning. So, he's had almost exactly 12 hours we came back and reviewed the the video and a couple encouraging things came out of that I thought whenever I shot him and, and hit him that far back that when he took off running he just I thought he snapped the arrow off we got up there and the arrow was completely intact and then looking at it closer it was absolutely covered with blood from from broadhead tip all the way to the end of the knock feathers were saturated um, so it looks like well we know because we after re replaying the video um, the arrow had gone looked like it gone in in front of that hip down into his abdomen and then came out low but the way that he was standing it actually came out behind his left leg so when he took off running he snagged the back of that big uh, 300 grain broadhead on a on a little sapling or something and it pulled the rest of that broadhead through the rest of that arrow completely through his body and then it the bush that pulled it out kind of trampolined it and flung it what 10 feet yeah and uh, that's where it was laying so uh, that was pretty cool to watch all that and see exactly what happened but looking at the blood on that arrow how quick that arrow got pulled through um, I'm hoping got a little bit for moral artery or something major a major blood vessel back there and we do have an exit exit wound and it's really low which is good so um, yeah so we're 12 hours later and we are going back we're gonna see if we can get on it so stand by and we got Shane what's that I said and we got Shane yeah <laughs> you ready yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I hope I hope Carl's right, and I hope we're all right in our assessment that that we we're, well, we don't think he got femoral artery. We're we're hopeful that the, with the blood, like uh, Carl mentioned on the fletching, that that might be the case. But we do have a little gut matter on the arrow, so that's an indication that it got into the, the intestines near the back, and uh, that'll be a fatal shot. Just can we find this deer? This road's bumpy. Yeah, this one is here. Not a good sign yet, but he's not started pumping. Looking good so far. It's not terrific, but it's there's some. Getting a little easier to follow, that's for sure. He laid down right here. Okay, then. I don't know if he intentionally did this, but face back towards danger. These are always the tricky ones. Once they bed down, and then they get them, back up, which go. way they go. And I'm going to assume he continued in the direction he was going. 
Okay, here's here's blood. He stopped here again. He laid down right here. Looks like he's staggering. Okay, so there's that. Where's the blood at here? All right here. Okay, yeah, I see it. At this point, I think it may not be femoral. I think it would, it would just hope for that. That's killed him. One, one little ways, I mean. Yeah, he's, he's gone more than he should have if it was from Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he is chomping stuff down. Yeah, he's staggering, I think. He's dragging his back. He's right there. I think he may be alive. His ears are up. Hey. Hey. Hey, Buck. That's a good buck, dude. That is a very good intense. <laughs> he laid his head right against that log, and he's bigger in person than he looked on Yeah, the he looks huge in person. He's all kinds of trash on that right side. You didn't lock your door, did you? What? The keys are in the in the the little thing. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't let you lock it. No. <laughs> you guys saw that uh, I made a less than desirable shot on that buck. I mean, it was terrible, absolutely terrible. There's no denying it. I, I will say though that it, uh, my equipment, absolutely 100% did its job. Uh, it was just me. You know, whatever it was, I still don't know what it was. But shooting that that heavy arrow, that solid one piece, cut on contact broadhead, you know, it ended up going all the way through this deer and hitting a lot of uh, vascular areas and stuff on the way. So um, my equipment absolutely cannot blame anything on it. It was all me. You know, if if you've hunted for any amount of time, you're gonna this is gonna happen and uh, the main thing is just to do know what you need to do don't push it and just back out and evaluate everything and then make your decisions going forward from there that's about all i have on that in north dakota has that been an absolute blast thanks for watching this episode uh, keep tabs on the channel there's more north dakota content coming and follow us throughout the season because tethered is going to be everywhere this year so we have a lot of good stuff coming and we thank you guys for watching Life. Run for your life. Run for your life.
for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life.